So I've done a video on what happened to the clones and where they ended up after the Clone Wars ended, but they weren't the only major contributor to the war. On the other side of the aisle, we have the droid army, which much like the clones were created for the sole purpose of killing the other side while Palpatine casually just takes over. But after the war ended, what exactly happened to the droids after the Clone Wars? Well, we know they aren't in service anymore. They were nowhere to be seen in episodes 4, 5, and 6, and are still absent in 7 and 8, but who knows about episode 9 because this video is being edited and rendered and all that before the movie's even out. Now, unlike the clones in the Republic, the Separatists and their droid army, uh, they were only created to be abused by the Sith, to be an enemy for the Republic to fight against or fight for, because it really didn't matter so long as the clones were made to eventually wipe out the Jedi. <laughs> when you think about it, <laughs> the droid army is really like that second cousin no one likes, appreciates, or cares for. <laughs> like, the Clone Wars purpose was to shift the Republic to an empire with a strong military. Emperor Palpatine didn't care what happened to the droids. Hell, he didn't even care about what happened to the Separatists after he won the war, and he honestly had kind of a good reason to, because they were, in all terms and purposes, the first rebels. And as for the droid army, well, when... Darth Vader went about and executed the Separatist Council on Mustafar on the orders of Palpatine. He also transmitted a broadcast code to deactivate the entirety of the droid army. But that wasn't the case. While the codes did remove the majority of the droids from existence, there were still some that remained. We get this information from the Tarkin books in Star Wars Rebels where we learn of various Separatist holdouts across the galaxy. Near the end of the war, Separatist droids significantly outnumbered Republic units. By my calculations, our probability of being defeated was only 23.6%. After Clone Order 66, the whole droid army was given a shutdown command. How are you even operating? The Jedi betrayal ended the war for most of the galaxy, but here on Agamar, I assumed it was a Republic trick and prevented the shutdown command. Well, it doesn't matter how it ended. The war is over. Let us go! Negative, Captain. I calculate that this will be my only opportunity to end the Clone Wars as I planned, with a victory for the Separatist Alliance. A little bit of context for you, after the Separatist Council was killed and the majority of their army was deactivated, most Separatist-controlled worlds just joined the Empire out of fear or capitulation, yet sometimes, often times they were droids themselves, they would remain and reactivate portions of the droid army and attempt to fight a war that has long ended. And as for the rest of the army, the droids that were deactivated and stayed deactivated, I can only assume that they were picked up, dismantled, and used for other things, or usually kept as like a novelty item, much like how we keep like a sword or something from like the medieval era. Hopefully, that kind of clears up what happened to the droid army after the Clone Wars, but if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns regarding this video, Star Wars, or its lore, you can let me know about them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.